Good morning, everyone. We're going to do this uh, beautiful beach scene. I call it Sunset Beach. Beautiful sun uh, sunrise actually coming up on the beach here in uh, Gloucester. So uh, we'll start wet your paper here. I, I wet this paper first, and now I'm just putting a wash of yellow, uh, a really yellow first, and then some streaks of raw sienna, and then a couple of streaks of quinacridone sienna. So you get three uh, progressively darker shades of yellow. A little wash of cobalt blue on the top just to cool it down. Let it come down, see what you got there. Right along the horizon, but you want that color to come all the way down because that's reflecting down onto the beach. Take a towel and lift out the sun. You know, just the section of the sun there where it's, you, you see above the horizon. Okay, so you want to um, put a little wash of raw sienna on the top of the sky and then drop some cobalt blue on top of that. So you get some nice gray, warm gray clouds coming down. We're going to come back to all this because this is just the first wash and it's going to get a lot darker. We know that, but I want to get some color in there, get an idea where the shapes are and so forth. So there's the sun coming up, taking some, a little bit of uh, uh, quinacridone sienna right along the horizon. Paint around that sun. That little damp brush here, just lifting that out. I, you let that dry, and now I'm going in. I just mixed up a gray with cobalt blue, a little bit of rose, and a little bit of raw sienna until you get to this grayish, grayish color. It's a little more towards a violet gray. Uh, you can see the rose in there. So you're painting that shape of the sand around the, where the water is coming in on the beach and reflecting the sky. So you're just painting those shapes. You can see that gray, it's a, just that nice gray, rosy gray, a little more. And I'm just taking a little more, more of a rose color on the edge. It's a little bit wetter, so this is all nice and wet still. The yellow has dried and now we're working on just that wet, those wet streaks of, of uh, moisture that come in on the beach and reflect the sky. Nice soft edges there. Nice soft edges. All right. All right. So now we're going to pick up that piece of land in the back. This is very dark. Ultramarine, Quincy, and it will give you that black and then charge it with a rose. So it's a rosy black. Then I rinsed out my brush, just kind of picked up that color of water and getting those distant lands. See how light they are compared to that dark street. All right, so I'm using the same gray, little bit of rose in there, and painting the water. Is the ocean coming in, just leaving some, leaving a little piece of uh, foam there. Just painting that shoreline where the water is coming in on the beach. Okay, all right, so you just picture that surf coming in. It's very quiet, but it's washing up on the sand. And you can, you know, if you wanted to, you could put a little more raw sienna into that color reflecting the sky, but I just left some shapes there. All right, so I'm just painting a nice, this is nice dark, same thing. Ultramarine with quinciana will give it the black, and then I charged it up with some cobalt blue on one side and some rose on the other. So there's a bunch of different colors in there. 
Then there's a set of rocks that are extending out into the beach. I just made those more blue, a little cooler. They're away. A couple of bigger rocks sitting on the beach there. All right, so we, we've done this now. You've seen this many times. I take my credit card and squeegee, just squeegee. Don't dig, don't dig into the paper. Just squeegee, don't press that hard and getting the light on those rocks. All right. You don't have to do all the rocks, just some of them are picking up the light. You can study it out in the photo if you want, but you know. <clears throat> so just pick out what you feel uh, will, will say, you know, say enough that beautiful light hitting those, uh, hitting those rocks. <clears throat> and then take some dark paint, again, that dark color, and just, you know, shape those, sh shape the light so that it, it, it looks like it's hitting the rocks the way you want it to. All right, a little bit of shadow underneath that. I'm, using, I'm just using a little bit of raw sienna there create a little bit of shadow, sit those rocks down. Okay. All right. I'm just bringing a little bit of that sand color in around those rocks to show the reflection of the water sitting around the rocks. But you don't have to go too far with that. Bring it in close to the all right, I'm going back here and now we're going to put the dark in the sky. This is uh, ultramarine with quinciana and I charged it with some cobalt blue. It's just a dark color. Now I'm putting a wash of raw sienna. This is very wet, a lot of water with raw sienna, bringing, letting those colors mix. More raw sienna as it comes down towards the bottom. Leave a few holes in the clouds, very effective. Okay, let it come down, let those colors mix. Then picking it up with more raw sienna on the edge, shape in my clouds, and down below on the horizon. This is just raw sienna, a lot of water. You wanna paint around that, that sunset, and you can see there it's very strong, adding more color. It's beautiful, you know, while it's wet. You want to do that while it's wet now. You don't want it to dry. There's a little bit of quincy in it. But that water's making it all mix, okay? So I'm picking some of it up with a towel, and you can pick it up with your, a damp brush like this. And then just take a damp brush and soften those edges. You know, do, you know shape them the way you'd like. Let those clouds come down around that sun beam, you know, around the beams of that sun, soften those edges. Okay, so we're almost there. That's very beautiful. Just soften those edges. You can always, you know, put it in and then take it off with the towel to shape that. All right, so there's the final painting there. Very simple, very nice, very warm. Okay, uh, all right, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.